Right, everyone, so it's near from near so today. I just want to apologise on behalf of myself during the live stream. Unfortunately, things really didn't go to plan as what I expected. Um, obviously, I'm actually inside the um, Hilton Garden Inn Hotel um, before we depart towards on towers again the next morning. Um, right. So, um, I also want to mention in this video as well, I'll try and keep it brief. So, the bus driver today, who took us to Alton Towers, he was a bit abrupt and quite rude to me. Um, because when I went to a park, I think it was the, yeah, it was the Wild of Yorkshire Zoo Park, I was technically late, but no fault man people because I don't know that park inside that like for Moonland I would and not to mention when your car park entrance and the coach entrance car parks are completely different so today I was early and I was I got in the coach half past something early than the rest of the group Anyway, um, I explained to him the reason why I said to him about my disability being autism um, He didn't seem people to give a shit What's the weather? Yeah, uh, again, it's not for my own people if I got a disability Remember, people, my disability is hidden Completely hidden It's not a physical thing Even though I have dyspraxia, which also is physical But that's not the point, people the Fucking point is, I'm actually on the autism spectrum, and the way I got treated there by him, well, I don't know what to fucking say. I was absolute gobsmacked. Even though when I said to him that, oh, I don't even cause any arguments, and um, just as we were about to set off to the hotel, these two lasses were late. Apparently, if I remember, someone said that, oh, it was given like, what, 10 minutes or so? And, and blah, 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 and then after that, off we went. And um, just about to get halfway out of the car park, well, guess what? There they were, people. There they were. But then, on the other hand, he decided to be completely rude to them. And I think to myself, well, mate, they fucking just ran from what they said where the smiling ride is to this coach and one of them almost had a heart attack I, myself people, almost passed out because I felt so exhausted I was sweating, I was overheating myself because I didn't want to miss the coach so in theory, what happened to me? I almost collapsed I was just too exhausted and I just went to a fence but then people thought I was drunk and I said, no, I'm actually hot. I'm stressed out, basically. So that didn't really help the situation. Um, yeah, tomorrow apparently, well, quote unquote, we're going to be at the pack again. But we've only gotten to half past three. So I think he's only going to give us five hours-ish. Now I can't use my so-called um, fast pass track now anymore. I'm going to have to um, join the boring fucking queues. Which in theory people, what it means is that I'm going to lose more hours of my ride time. Yeah, so I won't be got on Nemesis Reborn. I won't be, definitely won't be going to Wicked Man again. Definitely not. Um, Nemesis sub um, sub terror. Very good ride. And the queues, eh, I won't say they're too bad. But if I was going something like Oblivion, which I'm hoping I can try that to more people, I can't guarantee anything for that. Um, I did take some photographs of myself near the Nemesis eye. And I obviously managed to get one of the photographs with one of the um, actors from that ride. 
But yeah, people, I mean, it's been an absolute fucking disappointment today, especially for me. And the way that Joe spoke to me, people, there, there was fucking no need for it. Absolutely no need for it, people, whatsoever. And yeah, like I said, people, as agreed, you know, there's my 115 euro t shirt, which I'm wearing here. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to try and recommend this for tomorrow, people, um, I will wear my Dog Sortism shirt with my Dog Sortism lanyard ID card. So, if you do see me, you know, feel free to stop by and say hello, have a photograph, do a video, whatever, I don't mind. Um, but in terms of right people, I don't think we're doing much. Yeah, it's also unfortunate that people that I also wanted to do some filming. But um, due to unforeseen circumstances, it didn't go as a plan, especially with the live stream. So, yeah. And if anyone you look out there who is autistic or has some sort of disability, um, be advised, be extremely careful. Um, especially when you book with this company, you know, if you can't ask them what driver is it you know and i think his name's called um peter or pete's i think his name's called um but i'll say he's quite old but um i wouldn't say he's not hard to not recognize because the way he talks to people and the way he treats people you know um yeah i'll say that back when i was just my fan just in the background which um Open if I can this camera. Um, bear me a second. Oh, I can. There you go. So yeah, that's my fun people. So yeah, absolutely <laughs> disappointment today. Anyway, that's enough for today's for video people. So I'm gonna try and up this for YouTube if I can. Um, again, apologise for not doing a, a great so called. <laughs> live stream, you know, things to go to plan. Other than that, take everyone. Goodbye.